Hi there. In this topic video, we're going to be spending a few minutes looking at the pattern of international trade between the UK and other countries. Using data from 2014, the UK is the ninth largest exporting economy in the world, and we have just under 3% of the value of world trade. That figure, of course, has declined over the long term. It's stabilised a little bit recently, but other countries, in particular emerging economies, are starting to take a bigger slice of the total value of world trade. Now, according to Cesar Hidalgo's brilliant work with the Economic Complexity Index, Britain has the 11th most complex economy in the world. We have a highly diversified economy. We have the capability to produce lots of different goods and services, and we do so. The biggest single source of goods and services coming into the UK is from Germany. Indeed, far and away, Germany is our biggest single import source. But China is now second ahead of the United States. And you can see here that quite a cluster of countries are from the European Union. What about our export markets? Well, again, the biggest single export market by country is the United States, quite some distance ahead of Germany. But of course, if you add together all of the uh, export markets in the European Union, then the European Union accounts for around between 45 and 48 percent of our total exports, depending on how we treat uh, the Netherlands, where there's a so-called Rotterdam effect, goods coming into the port of Rotterdam and sometimes leaving within a few hours. Now, according to the 2015 data, China <coughs> is the 15th biggest UK export market. So it's growing quite quickly. But it's actually still only a relatively small percentage of our total trade. What kinds of things do we import? Keep in mind, this is big picture stuff, everybody. Well, we tend to import billions of pounds worth of electrical machinery and cars, medicines, pharmaceutical products, clothing, uh, vehicles other than cars, including trucks. So those are our biggest imports. And here are our biggest exports. Mechanical machinery is our biggest one, our largest export. Do you notice here that actually we're importing and we're exporting similar things? What that means is that Britain has a fairly high level of intra-industry trade. As a country, we have the capability and the complexity, we have the human capital and the resources to make lots of different products. And partly because of the need for choice from consumers, uh, we, we tend to import and export similar products, although clearly they'll be differentiated by, by design, by performance, by price. So those are the biggest exports for the UK. If we think about uh, food, for example, let's just disaggregate and think about the total amount of food consumed in the UK in 2014. Just over half the food consumed here was produced in the UK. Just over a quarter was produced in the European Union and then 4% from Africa, Asia, North and South America. Now, this is the this is the chart from Cesar Hidalgo's brilliant work on economic complexity. So this is a little patchwork quilt showing the pattern of the exports just of goods for the UK in 2014. And you can see that if we're just taking goods, then 10% of those products were cars. The UK has quite a, quite a strong uh, export performance in cars, items such as aircraft parts, uh, packaged medic uh, med medical equipment, pharmaceutical products, etc. Gas turbines, computers. I mean, there's many, many different products that the UK exports, and that's our export sectors. What about imports? Well, again, cars quite significant. So too pharmaceutical products and crude oil and computers. So if I go back to the slide, those are exports. These are imports and they look fairly similar. A high level of intra industry trade. But you notice there are many little little bits of the patchwork quilt there. Each of those is either an export industry or an import sector. So Britain is a highly diversified pattern of trade. And that's a key point. If we look at the value of trade overall, Britain runs a trade deficit in goods and services. We have a strong surplus in services, and we'll cover that in a special topic video. But we have an even bigger deficit in goods, in particular uh, finished products, finished manufactured goods, such as cars and textiles and washing machines, what have you. So Britain runs quite a big deficit. In 2015, the balance of trade in goods and services was around £37 billion in deficit or £700 million a week. Put another way, we imported £100 million per day more than the value of what we exported. 
Now, just to finish with, I want to look at something called revealed comparative advantage. This, I think, is tremendously interesting. It tells us a little bit about where the UK's competitiveness, competitiveness really lies. The chart, if you look at it on the right-hand side, uh, has, a, has a level of zero, and then above 0 0.2, 0 0.4, below it, minus 2, minus 0 0.4. Basically, it shows uh, above the zero line, it shows areas where the UK has a revealed comparative advantage. In other words, it's basically a relative measure um, sort of indicating which industry groups we're really good at exporting at relative to global markets. And the UK, it turns out, has a, a competitive or comparative advantage in things like insurance, uh, financial services, banking, for example, foreign exchange trading, business services such as consulting and design. We're very good in pharmaceuticals. We have some world-class aerospace companies and some globally scaled telecommunications businesses. So Britain has a strong comparative advantage in those sectors. On the other side, to the right of the diagram, below the zero line, we find industries such as plastics and rubber, textiles, footwear, woods and minerals. Britain is a net importer of these products. OK, so that's been a little look at the commodity and the geographical pattern of trade. Hopefully this is useful for you in terms of understanding the dynamics of our balance of payments and how we can make ourselves more competitive. Thanks for joining in on this one. See you soon.